Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno as the successful Spanish franchise continues here at Fright Fest with Rec 3 Genesis. Now, what attracted you to the part of Clara? Well, that it's a, it's a character that has a big arch. It starts like this tender and sweet girl that has, in the happiest day of, of her life, she's going to face the worst of the nightmares and she's going to find inside herself a strength to, to face all those nightmares and to become almost an animal fighting for her life. And, and the, what's particularly harrowing as well is the, uh, the, uh, some of the people that she's going to have to defend herself against, the family. Yes, it's, it's hard and I think that makes the movie most interesting and maybe it's a reflection of how society is it's zombifying while zombies are hu humanizing. Yeah. Does it make humanitizing, sense? Humanitizing, yeah. Humanitizing. <laughs> And um, the role looks a pretty physical role, so how did you prepare for that? Well, two months before shooting, I started training with a personal trainer and doing a lot of uh, um, the weights, weights yeah. and eating a lot of protein, all the stuff, because I wanted to be ready to, to kill zombies, to, to do as many takes as it, it needed to be, and, uh, and to have fun also, enjoy myself. Now, what was your inspiration for, for writing this? Well, I, I think the I, I think Rec 3 is part of a tradition of uh, zombie films, but at the same time, it's really rooted in Spanish culture. So my main influences for this film would be Luis Buñuel and Luis Garcia Berlanga, even a bit of Almodovar, if you, if you think it, because, because we wanted to bring something crazy into the film and a lot of horror, the horror combined with comedy and with romance and doing a bizarre film. Um, um, with with um, with horror as well, does it give you an opportunity for you as an artist, for your imagination, just to go completely wild? Yeah, and because I think horror films, or fantasy in general, is is like the way I see the world. You know, I, I don't see reality. Uh, you know, when I, when I watch the the news on TV, I don't I don't recognize that because I, that's not the way I see the world. I see fan, I, I see the fantastic element in every tiny detail, and I think uh, fantasy gives you the chance to speak about uh, human condition without uh, the filter of trying to be realistic or, or approach the approach reality. It, it gives you the chance to go to the spirit and to the soul of the stories. And, 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 and Letitia, as, a, as a, an actress, what did she bring to the part, the sensitivity? Uh, I think she owns the film, you know, she's amazing. And, it, and I, I had never imagined a, a better uh, actress for the role. And I, I think she, I, when, when we were like uh, preparing uh, the, the, the film, I, I told her I want her to be like Anna Karina, you know, at the, in, in a film, a Godard film. I wanted that eccentricity and that naiveness and this charm she brings to the role, you know, and I, and I think she was superb because she, she, she has the perfect balance between being so sweet and at the same time being an, a wild animal.